we talked uh, before about redox redox uh, reactions and we know about oxidation and reduction now we're going to look at electrolysis we said before electrolysis is the process of breaking down an ionic compound look here ionic compound not any compound can be broken by electrolysis uh, all the ionic compound by using electricity so if we have NaCl because this is positive this is negative uh, if we have magnesium oxide this is positive to positive to negative so these ionic compounds have ions so they can conduct electricity then they can be broken down by electricity the electricity can take back the electrons from this and give it back to these can give uh, can get uh, this electron from here and give it back to this atom then they can break down by electricity and this is electrolysis so we have NaCl we want to break down this substance in NaCl uh, it is an ionic compound positive and negative so NaCl we call it electrolyte electrolyte so electrolyte is a substance which can be broken down by electrolysis electrolyte is the substance which we want to break down by electrolysis we have non-electrolyte non-electrolyte electrolyte substances like h h um no not like not like this one h2 uh, c ch2 or maybe other CH4 we don't have CH2 CH4 so if we want to break down this one if we want to break down this one how can we break it we can uh, we cannot break it by electricity so this is non electrolyte is a substance which cannot be broken by electricity so it is non electrolyte we have other substance which conduct electricity to small extent we call we call them weak electrolyte weak electrolyte electrolyte okay so we break down an ionic compound by using electricity like sodium chloride uh, and how is that um, how does that happen uh, in this cell this cell we, we call it electrolytic cell we're going to look how it is connected and with detail so this cell will give back the electrons from this sodium back to uh, uh, from chlorine back to sodium now this will be zero charge and this will be zero charge then they will break down to give us uh, sodium plus chlorine cl2 why cl2 we spoke about that before because diatomic atoms cl2 o2 h2 f2 always these atoms exist in two when they break down so how are we going to look at the electrolytic cell here uh, it, it it is made of uh, it needs battery this uh, battery is going to pull this side the anode is going to pull the electrons back up and then the electrons will go up by the battery because it will just pull these electrons the charge of electrons negative then this positive terminal which is the anode will pull the electrons and then this one will push it because um, negative and negative uh, they uh, just repel so they push down the electrons to this side and then electrolysis takes place here in this cell we have these bars uh, electrodes we uh, they are made of plant uh, and reactive metal and reactive metal or uh, none non-metal graphite graphite or unreactive metal or from non-metal carbon like graphite and why it should be unreactive or graphite why should we use these substances uh, so they do not react with the components of electrolysis so if you want to break something here let's say NaCl and if you use something here which is reactive is going to react with these substances then you will have uh, other compounds you will not just get chlorine gas you will not get sodium 
metal they will bond with whatever the bars you have here these electrodes they will react with the components of electrolysis so we need to use unreactive uh, metal or non-metal and that is why so uh, this cell has two two electrodes we have the anode the anode is the positive terminal because anode attracts an ion anions anions the charge of them is negative so because this these ions which are negative and this is positive it will attract them look here it they will be attracted to this terminal and cathode is the negative terminal uh, it attracts cation cations which have positive charge they will be attracted to this side now you have NaCl one this is negative this is positive so this will be attracted to the positive terminal and this will be attracted to the negative terminal because they have opposite charges so here um, if you have sodium and chlorine uh, sodium will be attracted to this side which is the negative terminal to the cathode and chlorine will be attracted to the anode and now the electricity will pull the electrons back from this chlorine look the electrons will just go up here in this side then they are going to be pushed by the battery back to the sodium the sodium before it lost electrons the chlorine gained now the uh, electricity will pull the electrons from the chlorine and give them back to the sodium now the result is these will join in pair and become gas and they will go to the air and sodium because they get their uh, electrons which they lost before they will go down as metal in this cell then we can collect this metal and we can collect the gas so here you have sodium chloride they will break to give you sodium plus chlorine and not balance we can balance so we will look at them uh, uh, at these reactions so what is the reaction that happens at the cathode which reaction happens at the cathode is the reaction of chlorine so when we write half redox redox equations which one will be at the, the cathode and which one will be at the anode at the anode will be chlorine cl it lost electrons and now uh, which one will be at the cathode at the cathode we will have sodium sodium uh, will gain electrons so reduction and this is oxidation and this happens at cathode and this happens at anode so uh, the questions about this will be write the equation or the reaction that happens at the anode you write this reaction half half equation this is at the anode and uh, write the equation which happens the reaction which happens at the cathode this is the cathode and is a reduction uh, or oxidation so this loss this is oxidation and this is reduction now let's look at these equations with detail here just to have a better idea we have sodium chloride will break down to give you sodium plus chlorine okay but this uh, equation is not balanced we need to balance it so this is a balanced equation to sodium chloride gives you to sodium plus uh, chlorine gas so the charges of sodium the sodium now is positive and chlorine is negative it will be zero and zero and why is that because we said here you have in a cl this is positive and this is negative why positive because it lost one electron and this is why negative because it got one electron now to be zero this will lose the electron which it got before and give back to this which one uh, the one which it lost before now here look the oxidation numbers we said positive negative zero zero so we write the half equation so two 
in a it is positive right so it will gain or lose it will now it will gain electrons plus how many electrons two because we have two atoms every atom will uh, gain one will give us will give us two in a so now this is oxidation or reduction oil rig oxidation is losing reduction is gaining so this gain so it is reduction reduction now at which side this reaction happen at the cathode or at the anode this is the cell electrolytic cell this is let's say anode anode it is positive and this is cathode is negative terminal so the sodium because it is positive the charge of it positive did it happen at the anode which is positive or at the cathode the negative one where did it happen because there are opposite charges they will attract each other so this happened here at the cathode they the sodium uh, just went to this terminal to the cathode so this reaction happens at what at cathode cathode so if you have a question write the reaction which which happens at the cathode you write this is at the cathode now at the anode let's look at chlorine to cl here two this two cl okay was negative now this one lost electron we will write like this arrow then we will write cl2 and these are the two electrons which they lost uh, each atom we have two each atom lost one so this is two plus two electrons and this side it means they lost so oil rig oxidation is losing this is oxidation Okay, Where, at which terminal did this uh, reaction happen? At the anode or at the cathode? Look, this is negative. The charge of chlorine is negative. So it will be attracted to the positive terminal, to the anode. So this reaction happened at the anode. Anode. And that is it. Let's look at another example here. Huh? Uh, we have magnesium chloride will break down to give us magnesium plus chlorine this equation is balanced uh, we have magnesium chloride will give you magnesium plus chlorine magnesium the charge is too positive and this chlorine is negative it was like this magnesium had two valence electrons and chlorine can get only one one will go to this atom one will go to this atom so this loss two became two positive this gained one negative and negative and we have two atoms of chlorine chlorine to lose the charge to be zero this will give it one electron and this will give it one electron so it will gain two electrons and this will be zero charge and this will be zero charge so magnesium magnesium to positive now we said it will get back to electrons so plus two electrons will give us magnesium just magnesium so this gained electrons so it is reduction okay it is positive so it will be attracted to the cathode this reaction happened at cathode at the cathode okay let's just keep in mind metals always this the metal will always go to the cathode and chlorine always will go to the anode so uh, you keep it in your mind if you don't know which one goes to cathode which one to the anode the first one in a chemical equation in the formula always we start with the metal then the non-metal this is the metal this is the non-metal so always the metal goes to the cathode and always the non-metal goes to the anode so magnesium happened at the cathode now let's look at chlorine here we have cl2 will uh, lose 
to electrons so this will lose we'll write arrow and then we will write cl2 cl2 this had a charge negative now with no charge and that had charge to positive now no charge now this is a uh, plus to electrons so this is uh, oxidation oxidation at which side this reaction happens at the cathode or at the anode at the anode at the anode Uh, here we have another example magnesium oxide magnesium oxide will break down to give up mag magnesium plus oxygen oh back why two magnesium o2 because we said diatomic atom always exists in two pairs so magnesium here we need to balance the equation first here we have two and here we'll put two so the the charge of magnesium is two positive and oxygen to negative because look magnesium was like this two had two electrons and oxygen one two three four five six so this will give two electrons to oxygen and this will be two positive and this will be two negative now to lose the charge to be zero this will uh, give it back its electrons so this will lose two electrons back and this will gain the two electrons which it lost them before when they bonded together so to write the equations here we have two magnesium okay we said magnesium will gain but here we balance the equation so it will gain how many two positive we have two atoms every atom will gain two so two times two four so plus four electrons will give you this two magnesium so this gained electrons it is reduction reduction where does this reaction happens at the cathode or at the anode at the cathode okay the cathode is negative and this magnesium because it is a positive ion it will go to the negative because uh, opposite charges attract each other now let's look at magnesium a uh, lot uh, oxygen here we have two oxygen they are two negative this will lose electrons so we write arrow then it will be o2 plus how many electrons we have two atoms of oxygen every atom will lose two electrons so two times two is four four electrons and this now is oxidation because it lost oxidation okay this reaction where does it happen at which terminal at the cathode or at the anode show at the anode at the anode because the anode is positive it will attract the negative uh, ions uh, in the next video we're going to look at more examples about these uh, redox re uh, uh, equations and uh, at cathode or anode reactions until then ciao